What's up everybody? This is Bee with MomStart.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make DIY cafe doors finished with famo wood glaze coat and unicorn spit. We're going to be putting these cafe doors at floor level and making them slightly smaller than your standard cafe doors so that they can be used as a baby or pet gate. The average baby gate or pet gate that you buy in a store is not particularly attractive and can be a bit cumbersome to use or constantly stepping over. And if you have a situation such as a pet gate where it needs to stay up permanently, this can be a real hassle. That's why cafe doors are such a nice alternative, because you can create something that's really aesthetically pleasing and a lot easier to use as well. We're going to show you how to make your very own colorful cafe style baby gate or pet gate. All right, everybody, I am out here in the workshop with my husband, Jay, and we are about to get started on our DIY baby gate slash pet gate. So this is a project that I've been thinking about for a while now. I kind of like those, you know, the old saloon style doors you see in the Westerns. And as I searched around, I see they're now, they're called cafe style doors, so. And I like to build stuff out of recycled wood and people kind of know that, so they'll kind of let me know if they have something to throw out. And this is something, basically this is a broken up futon that somebody was gonna get rid of. So I'm gonna try to make those cafe doors, the saloon style doors, as a pet slash baby gate. So there's gonna be a bit lower, you know, they're instead of normally they're kind of like mid height or half doors, this is gonna be kind of low and just about an inch from the ground. This will be the top kind of decorative piece. Two square pieces, you know, two square doors like this. And what I plan to do is just take a router, router out the middle here. I've got a, a router bit that just happens to be the exact thickness of this piece of scrap plywood. And I'm gonna try to fit it into that ever built makes cafe door pivots so I'm just gonna use these they were um, I think they were like seven bucks give or take a dollar and it's for two doors so I'm gonna go for it the dimensions it's gonna be 30 inches high because that on the side that will we have kind of this antique doorknob on this particular door that it's gonna be in front of so they'll you know the door can stay open but the cafe doors will kind of protect that doorway. Yeah, so this will be, the plan is this will be right at 30 inches tall from there. You can go up here. And also the fact that you're using reclaimed wood makes this very environmentally friendly, keeps stuff out of the landfill. Yeah, yeah. I, I also kind of, when I build things, I kind of like a very handmade look, which is a little bit self-serving because it's easier, you know. I, I don't I don't have to worry about machining things perfectly. I'll I just sand them by hand and you know, I, I like the imperfections. So we'll see how it goes.
And here's basically the final product. So as a quick recap, I used this uh, recovered wood from an old futon. I measured the door frame and it came to about 28 and a half inches. Cut it all to shape to fit the door. At the very end, I, I ended up shaving them down just a little bit more. Got it to shape and used construction screws to hold it in place very solidly. I ran a router to make a groove through here, took it apart, and had some plywood cut that fit just so. Got everything glued, put all the screws back in. We got to some cafe door hinges that were less than 10 bucks. And once it was all basically in place, we used the unicorn spit and kind of did some experiments with the color. So the two rooms that this is going to be a, a boundary between have different color schemes. One room is a bit darker and it's got red and black. And so that when we used the unicorn spit, we layered those darker colors together. You know, you, you pour them in the cup and be careful not to mix them and then when you pour it out it creates these interesting patterns and we also use some of the unicorn spit on the wood to give it just give it a little stain make kind of that distressed wood look and for the lighter room we used pinks and blues and white to highlight it and layered the unicorn spit that way and also left since it's kind of a lighter brighter room we left the wood the natural color applied the Famo Wood Glaze Coat Craft to just put like a glass sheen over the whole thing and seal it all in. So once the Famo Wood Glaze Coat Craft was fully solidified, I took them back out in the shop and sanded the wood down. Careful not to, I was careful not to scuff that. So all that's left to do is get them hung in the doorway and get the latch mechanism on. So let's see how it goes. All right, guys, that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. And to learn more about Unicorn Spit and Thamelwood Glaze Coat, be sure to check out our link in the description box below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you'll never miss another fun craft from us. All right, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.